Today, we're going to have a short discussion on how to use uh, the Philatine uh, to prepare your cane. Uh, the Philatine is, a, is a, a device that chops the cane and then planes it to a specific height to be used in the Opus One Gouger or with any other gouger. Um, in a later video, uh, to come, I'm going to show what the steps I follow in preparing the cane all the way from tubes to uh, cane to be gouged. But just to understand how the filtering works today, I take a piece of tube cane, which has been split and pre-selected for diameter and straightness and stuff. And the first thing I do is I put the cane in the guillotine part of this and chop off a small section of the first end to get myself away from the knot where the cane is cut uh, and to give me a nice straight, clean edge here. Then I will chop the other side, putting the cane in the, in the, in the guillotine with all the way against this stop over here. And then again, chop it down, and I have a piece now that has been cut to length. I then place the cane in the fillier bed here. And what I will do, it's important to keep your fingers on the cane as it goes through the, fill, the fillier so that it won't buckle up and you actually are guiding the cane uh, better into the blade, making sure that it stays in contact with the bottom of the bed here in the fillier. So I'll put the cane in the bed like this. I'll put what I put, I, I do is I put three fingers on the cane and I run it forward into the blade with pressure, you know, holding the cane down in the bed so the, 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 cane, the blade actually bites the cane with the cane at the bottom of the bed. Then I take the push rod, give it a couple little quick starts just to get the cane started, and as I push through, I walk up my fingers, but I'm always pressing right in front of the blade. Then I have this, which I can then just toss at the garbage can. And normally, I will have more than one piece chopped up, but let me get another one here done quickly. I will leave the first piece of cane in the, fill uh, the uh, fillier, and I will store up the second piece of cane, holding down, letting it bite into the blade, and then pushing it through, and then this second piece pushes out the first piece. And you can just go through really quickly, one after the other, and get a rapid succession of pieces of cane being planed. It makes it pretty quick. And then when I finish, put the dowel pusher back into the little hole there. Uh, you'll notice that this filatine has been actually mounted to the bed, I mean to the table here, with two screws that go down inside these holes. And this hole over here on the right is larger, and the push rod fits down inside there for storage until the next time I have to use it. Well, I hope that explains uh, a bit about the use of the Philatine. If you have any questions, please check my website for my contact information at opus1gouger.com. And I will soon have a video out that shows how I personally go through all my cane from tube until a cane the step being gouged. So um, you can see what I do. All right, thank you so much. I also want to add that when you look at the cane after it has been cut with the filatine, uh, you should notice that the cane looks the same in the cross section for all the way from here all the way down to here. Like you'll notice this piece of cane here has a little trough in the center. Okay, now that trough, if the cane is straight and the bark is straight and everything about the cane is healthy, uh, this should look exactly the same all the way from the bottom. It shouldn't be like a deep trough here and then like nothing here in the center and then back to a trough again because that means the cane has come up some in the blade like either by having the cane crooked or something. Uh, so when you, when you finish the filtering, make sure that all your pieces of cane come out, as you can see from these, have a very symmetrical cross section all the way from here all the way down to the end. If it doesn't, uh, there's a good chance that there's a defective aspect of the cane and you might as well just throw it away and try a different piece. You can see all these have the same type of cross section all the way down. That's a very important thing to check because if the cane is, is, uh, has a bad cross section, that means that the diameter could be changing from top to bottom or the cane could be slightly crooked or it could be pumped back or swaybacked. All of those things will cause problems with the gouger and even if it happens to gouge okay, there's a good chance it will cause problems with the reed. So uh, you can use that as a preliminary uh, culling out thing to check for. So uh, that's a very important thing to watch. So again, to recap, make sure you press down with your fingers on the cane as it goes through the fillier blade. 
to make sure the cane is in the bed the whole time it travels up here, and just walk your fingers off. Uh, but always keep your keep the finger present right in front of the edge as you go up the the filatine uh, bed weight, and that should work out fine. Okay, thank you very much.